boys and girls. This is Tiffany Howard again. I'm going to be reading you the book Land of And, written by Katie Mullaly and illustrated by Toby Allen. Well, hello there, my dear. Let me welcome you here to a river where everyone's going. We'll become so aware that there's much we can share and include all find as we are rowing. To fill up our boat throughout our whole float will be an adventure so grand. We'll embrace all we can floating down this long span as we travel through the land of and. No, it's not just your chums invited to come on our boat down the river to drift. Bring the ones that seem strange and it's you who might change because your opinion could shift. Yes, our vessel is punny, adding more does seem loony, but trust me, our boat is unique. Our raft will expand when you stretch out your hand to ask them to float down the creek. Come along for the ride, let me be your guide as we journey on down this big river. Let's put in our raft and launch this small craft to find out what this trip can deliver. First to join on the deck is one with a long neck and from another small boat it was barred. Then this one with a snout who can sniff our route out. It has skills we should highly regard. You may not have thought that these skills they have brought would be useful, but now you can see that unique's a great thing with so much they can bring. They're in no way considered faulty. Beware as we're gliding, a creature is hiding that's only around to bestow. Excuses for those who want to oppose, allowing so many to go. If you try to suggest bringing on all the rest, it's the yabbit that wants to refuse. So please notice its tricks to influence your picks and include all we see on this cruise. Now behold that strange flock over there on the dock with their feathers and colors galore. A diverse bunch they are, some may think bizarre because their style we've not seen here before. Well, our boat needs more zazz, some razzmatazz, and this group will sure brighten our space because we want to grab those uncommon and fab and not be afraid to embrace. Now, what we can do as we float on through with everyone that will appear. They'll all want a job. This excellent mob is helping us paddle and steer. Let's give them an oar and make room for more so that everyone's invite is clear. See the one in the shell? It has stories to tell and really just wants to be heard. If it joins with our pack, it can yammer and yak of adventures both wild and absurd. There's so much to discover and learn from another. New perceptions will be our reward. So let's please not decide to push it aside, but instead we can bring it aboard. But you don't want them all? You say that one is too tall? And besides, now you think that they won't fit? Very few to allow across that boat bow? Only similar we should permit? Hmm. And yeah, but you added. That one is plaid and I don't know, it'll surely annoy. Well, that's no excuse to exclude someone who's just distinct and who we might enjoy. You say you feel weary? Cause that one is so hairy and it can't even see its own feet. It has massive white teeth and it hides them beneath its fur until it needs to eat. Ugh. But it's nothing to dread our fears we must shed because it's really quite sweet. See, 
Difference, not weird, or a thing to be feared. It only means not just like you. As we float through this land, what you must understand is that you may seem strange to them, too. Look, there's one with more arms. But don't sound the alarm. It just wants to be a part of our group. Many oars it can clutch to help paddle and such. What an excellent boost to our troop. A peculiar outside can cause someone to hide because they were never accepted. But since now we agree that they are just like you and me, let's take them to where we are headed. Inclusion's a breeze. You can do it with ease. It's basic and quick like a smile or a high just a cast as we row on past to all those we see every smile. And there's one that's dotted who wants to be spotted hanging out in the river's far shore. From now on, we will greet all of those that we meet and no longer choose to ignore. Oh, there's one that is ready who's stuck in the eddy just swirling around and around. And the one that's aloof but who's just a big goof because it won't ever utter a sound. They were constantly passed, but they were picked up at last, since we chose to snag all that we found. Were you ever passed by, and you wondered why you were left out and neglected? They left you behind. It was not very kind. I'm sure you felt bad and rejected. Oh, how glad you'd been if asked to join in. Don't forget, please, how you were affected. The rapids ahead, how they fill me with dread. Because they're caused by the yabbit, no doubt. As we run this set, the yabbit, I bet, wants to make all the odd ones fall out. But here in this land, inclusions are stand, and everyone gets to stay on. If we hang on really tight, we'll be all right until all the white water's gone. We are now at the end of our float, my sweet friend. It was great to include and convene. As our new pals now leave, I'm so happy that we've shown them what acceptance can mean. Each time you use and, your world is less bland. Remember this once you depart. Just a simple hello to the ones you don't know. Oh, this can be such a great start. Let them join in the game, or just ask them their name. You'll help them feel like they are a part. Inclusion can reach beyond just this beach and rub off on those who now see. That and isn't scary. In fact, it's quite very a marvelous fun way to be. The end. Thank you for listening. I have enjoyed reading this book. Um, I like this book in particular because it tells you that no matter what people look like or sound like or maybe what your perception of them is, um, doesn't mean that they have to be scary or different or weird. That everybody is unique in their own way and that sometimes you might find one of your best friends in the whole world from somebody you might not have looked at a second time but just by including them you get to understand who they are and make them a part of your world as well because remember we may think somebody else is strange but others might think that we are just as strange as we think they are so sometimes it's not a bad idea to go up to somebody at school that may be not included with your group and say, hey, what's your name? Would you like to join us today? And you never know, you might make a friend for life. Thank you and you guys have a wonderful blessed day.